So I was supposed to start my YouTube video after I remember that I needed to, you know, have something in my tummy. I set up, I sat down, I'm like, I'll be back. So I went to the kitchen to have, you know, some food to eat before I start. You know why when I start, you know, telling you the story, but you know, man shall not live by, oh, sorry, I'm actually about to eat food. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I'm looking to myself here, but I didn't, you know, say hi to you guys. So let's jump to today's video. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. So sit back, please forgive this foodie, and enjoy today's episode. I forgot to say hi to you guys. Welcome back. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So let's get into it. <laughs> welcome guys welcome back to another episode of my vlog <laughs> my name is Maki Dajola if this is your first time here you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome I'm so happy to have you here so guys today I'm just going to jump straight because today is story time I'm going to be telling you some stories and you know I know you might be wondering why is Adiola going to carry food like <laughs> because it's going to be you know this is a story time so I might get to spend more time and the girl is trying to eat as much as she can so that she doesn't look like the gone one inside the wedding gap. If you don't understand what, what I mean, it's three weeks to my wedding, guys. Three weeks to my wedding. So I'm so happy. I am very, very happy. A lot of my friends have been reaching out to me, asking me if I'm tense, I'm feeling, and all of those things about the day, about married life, and all. And I, I really can't relate yet. I don't know. Maybe if it's like a week two, or maybe when I get to Ibadan, because what is in Ibadan, we are based in Lagos. You know, maybe when I get there, I'll start having that feel. You know, of oh, okay, now maybe I'm supposed to start feeling like this. You get, but right now. You know, I'm not even feeling somehow, even though our parents have decided to invite the whole Nigeria, I'm not feeling, you know, somehow at the moment. And I'm thankful to God for that. He has actually been grateful. I'm sure I'm going to do an episode about, you know, wedding planning and budgeting and all of those things after my wedding. But guys, my wedding website is going to be out anytime from now. And you're going to be able to read how we met from my perspective and from Hayo's perspective from our website. And before that happened, I said, let me come here. And tell you guys the story because I have held on to this story for a long time. A lot of people always reach out to me and ask me, How did you meet Ayo? How did you, you guys, how did you meet each other? I was like, Don't worry, we are going to do that. We are going to do that. Like, I would have loved to wait till when it will be available, you know, so that we can do it together. But maybe after our wedding, I'll bring him to, you know, share with you his own part of the story. But I'll be sharing my own part of the story right now because it will be a very disrespect if you guys have to go read it there. So let me narrate it to you right now and I hope that you enjoy All of this started this. On, um, in January 2020. Um, I don't know if you've listened to my Lauren Sawyer story. I think I recorded that video two years ago. <laughs> so everything started in January 2020 um at as at that point in time that was you know a season after that Lorenzo story you I know mean, when i had my encounter with god when i attended that program and my life changed i started hearing from god all of those things so it was january 2020 um january 13 2020 to be precise i was writing my first semester exam you know my msc first semester exam so um i was very busy then trying to put in all the power all my power my strength before nigeria did let's not go to that <laughs> so you know i was listening in everything so i had posted this video and um i i, put, I had posted this video and just forget about it forgot about it and it was there so i saw this person's email you know um pop up on my phone and it was like a reminder to an email that the person had sent before so I checked it and I saw, you know, the person comment on my video and, you know, his perspective about it and all and all and all and all. So I read it and, you know, I told him, okay, I'm, I'm doing, writing my exam at this moment, you know, give me some time, some, some time and we can, you know, have a very detailed conversation. So after that, we sent, you know, emails back and forth to each other. He dropped some comments about the, this thing. I, I also replied to him. And, you know, to make it easy, I'm like, okay, give me your WhatsApp number. So I got his WhatsApp number. And to be clear about this, he's not the first person that I, I'll be meeting through my YouTube channel. You know, I've met quite a lot of people 
I have three friends right now. We've not met each other. And this is a good time to do a shout out to Gloria. Our wedding is next week. Um, I'm doing a shout out to her. I met her via my blog to my YouTube channel and she's been a very great friend of mine. So it was not the first person. So I felt okay, it's just one of those things. So, you know, we we got talking, gave me, gave me his WhatsApp number and, you know, we chatted back and forth, you know, and that was all. I continued, you know, my quest in seeking God and praying and all of those things. At that point in time, you know, I was just healing from a very bad breakup. I was ghosted and my ex of five years was also trying to come back and I was praying to God, you know, if this is something I should do and all. Like, I was I was in a point where I was, I was trying to surrender everything to God. I, at this point, I was not going to go forward if God did not give a yes to, you know, the next thing that I'll be doing. And I must confess, that was actually very hard. Like, it was pretty... So, you know, after having that conversation, there was something I actually asked them to do. So I told him, do so, 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 so thing and all. And I remember then, it was still a relationship with someone. So, you know, I was not even thinking about, oh, dating this person. So I, I told him, do so, so, so thing. And we have... We talk later and that was all i just forgot forget um, forgot everything about him so march came um covid started and they sent everybody back home and it was the first day that i got home you know i was about to um sleep that night and then it dropped in my mind so when it dropped in my mind that was the first day that i went to click on his um on his dp i checked his picture i'm like okay this is how this person looks like the person i've been talking with this is how he looks like so you know i shattered him up immediately to ask him oh what i asked you to do then were you able to do it what was the whatever and you know the coconut head that he is till now he did not do it so <laughs> um backstory before i jump there as at this point on in time you know i was definitely already praying to god for a partner but um like i had some no go zones one of my no go zones was dating a finance guy because this my ex of five years was a finance guy and one of the reasons why i do not want to date a finance guy is because he they are always busy they are always having one certification or the other to do writing this exam or that they always they, they always have something to do. they're always busy i want a man that will have my time not a man that will make me feel like i'm a distraction to him so i had confidence in my mind i was never ever going to marry a finance guy the other thing is i would never move to lagos so i would pray to god that oh how do i meet my man and all i remember then when i wanted to join you know um GLC workforce and God told me not to join the choir that wants me to join sanctuary keeper and all I started foundation Bible school then I felt like like why would God put me in this kind of space like if I'm I'm in you know the choir definitely I can sing you know God has given me the gift so I have the ability to be seen there probably I might get to meet my husband and all and you know I wanted a true life you know I don't want a very lousy place Lagos is like you know no I liked it but uh, if you know all those quiet places and you know all of those things where I can just do my thing and just make my money you know probably at that, at that point in time say if I wanted to lecture like I was not looking at doing a nine to five you know office job and home so I had had all of these things in my mind, but God told me then to continue doing my YouTube videos and it made no sense to me. Like, I'm asking you how do I meet my man and you are telling me to keep doing my YouTube videos. But, you know, that's what God said. So I continued doing my YouTube video. Now back to, you know, chatting him up and he not doing what I asked him to do. I am, at that point in time, he had been having some issues with his girlfriend. And before coming home for the COVID break, we had like a conference in my church then because love tabernacle in ife so i i did everything i could i went to a friend of mine who reached out to someone in technical to help me get a get a message for this person so i believe that if he if he listened to that message it would really help you know to to really you know, i just felt like that message is the answer to the problems that i have at that point in time and i went through hell to get this message for this man named ayo <laughs> but in the end this, this man didn't listen to my message uh, didn't even you know open my message and all after all the stress i had gone through i didn't reply me on whatsapp and that was all we stopped talking he didn't say anything to me and all and like angry definitely because i had gone through a lot to help this person but <laughs> excuse me i'm the one trying to help you here like it's your loss if you don't you know reply to me at all but i was actually really angry I remember I wanted to go to my bed right there that night and I was trying to say my night prayers and I had clearly in my spirit that 
this person is your forever friend and i was like i don't understand and the way god speaks to me is like i i hear a word from god and it's like something in my spirit start breaking it down for me then i clicked on this picture i looked at this picture again again and number one this person is a finance guy number two is based in lagos like god you knew what we've talked about before like why is it that whenever you say that you want something like that is your specialty to take that thing away from people like we had this discussion like a finance guy is a no-go area a lagos based person is a i'm not doing a lagos boy like how <laughs> I was so angry. But the thing is, I have never met this person before. I have not seen him from anywhere. The only thing that I knew is that a very good friend of mine that we attended the same fellowship together and we ended up being friends till now, Sammy, you know, was his classmate and they probably still, um, they probably still talk at, at that point in time. They still talk to him now and all. So I was not even interested in knowing this person. So I was like, I wanted to see what God would do. Like, she be is a stranger. They have not people that are around me that have asked you say that they are not the person. But this person that I've never seen before that I don't know, like I don't know anything about him. This is the person that you're trying to say that like I don't even know I'm going to meet him. I'm here in Ife, it's the all the way in Lagos, like so <laughs> I deleted his number, but then I saved it back with A. <laughs> I saved it with A. And that was what I, I didn't know to see what God was going to do. And I can imagine God like saying, Mr. Mrs. Woman, I quitted the heaven and the heart. Like, I can't do anything as long as I'm ready to do it. So, eight months down the drain, guys, nothing from this man. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Eight months down the year, sorry, nothing from this guy. So, in my mind, I was already, you know, I was already moving on to some the next things in my life and all it was actually a very draining month because of covid i couldn't do anything that i wanted to do so then i wanted to release my song her mom and at that point in time i was at least i think i was doing a one vlog one day and you know i needed my friends that were already working you know in places like lagos to help me answer some questions so i reached out to some of my friends i remember i reached out to that i said to some keys i to some of my friends and then it, it came to mind and I felt like I should reach out to him too. But I'm like, no way. This guy that I did everything and, you know, just ghosted me. Didn't say anything to today. So, guys, whenever I tell you that he ghosted me and he's always here defending himself like he did not, he did not. Now I know that I'm going to take my side because this man actually really ghosted me. <laughs> so, I felt I'm not going to do this. But it was like, I couldn't get it off my mind. Like, it was like I was carrying this person, you know, in my spirit everywhere I was, everywhere I, you know, I went at that particular point in time. It was like the voice could not leave my head, like, reach out to this person, ask this person, ask this person. So I'm like, Ikuku would not answer. He's very good at ghosting people. So I said, I'm going to drop a message for him on WhatsApp because I know that, but that I'm going to call him, like, I'm sorry, I'm a babe. I cannot be doing all of these things. And I know, notice, you know, this person when we talk to them, you know, after God told me that it's going to be my forever um, friend, I felt like the person he was dating then, I know that I really, really liked this girl. Like, he really, really liked this girl. And, you know, I really, I, I think at that point in time, save, I prayed, you know, I, I, I can't remember, but I felt like I, I actually did a prayer where I said, God, like, I really want my man to, you know, really invest in me this much you know because i noticed the way he really likes the girl and all and was giving his all trying to make sure that everything comes back together so i felt like this is a no-go zone like how is god going to do this this person is a child of god and, and i'm sure before he went to that relationship god would definitely if he didn't go on his own this thing would have hacked god so you know i was trying to link the bridge for god as far you know <laughs> So she happened that uh, I shall reach out to him. I sent him a text on WhatsApp and I felt it was, it was no day to reply. So I just left it there. But to my surprise, he didn't just reply, he sent a very long vein detailing, you know, things that he would do if in that is in that person's shoe, shoes and all of those things. Like he took his time to, you know, send this this email and I'm like, Ooh, wow. 
<laughs> and that was how we started talking and we started chatting back and forth again and i can't remember did i tell him that i felt bad that he didn't reply i, I can't remember that part but i knew we started talking you know back and forth and that was when i told him that i came back to ife because i was in Ibadan during that covid you know period i came back to ife to record my song because my producer was in Ibadan. what it wasn't ife and you know he it, it collected my flyers, you know, because I had some countdown flyers for the to the day of the um the release of the song. So he posted my songs, he posted the flyers on all of the social media pages, Twitter, his WhatsApp, everything. He was just posting and posting and posting. And also he told me that he was going to help me, you know. Um, put it on Deezer and was going to pay for it, the song to be streamed on Deezer and all. So he did everything then, and you know that was how I started getting to to like this person as a friend. But I had knew in my mind that you know God has said that this person is going to be my my forever friend. And then we started talking back and forth in August and around early November. I remember that like i had really liked him so much i liked everything about him we would send long voice notes to each other like we send long voice notes as long as 40 minutes an hour plus voice notes to each other just so that we can have each other's voice and whenever we needed to listen to it you know i would send him mess them because he's actually very busy you know that was why i didn't want to date a finance person <laughs> so i would drop him voice notes when he's free he would reply me and i would be smiling up and down i remember people in my house started calling me um call call center or customer care or something because i was always on my phone I, and i had never met this man before but like the the love was not something that you know i could contain anymore like i i was just like i was carrying him in my spirit and my soul everywhere i was going and i just knew that i just, i had loved this person so much that was consuming me so you know and early november i felt like god i cannot continue to do be this way i am actually so much in love with this guy i know i had asked you that i want to see how you do it but now that that happened god this guy is not coming for us this guy looks like a coconut egg guy he's like a book and career type of person i'm not even feeling the vibe like it was going to ask me out like felt like that night i was still doing this business writing um job then there was this night i was working i felt this night i was going to chat him up and tell him that i am no longer interested in being friends with him that you know I don't want to develop feelings and all of those things. I was close to doing it that night. And then my norm is when I'm working, I listen to songs, I listen to um, vlogs, I listen to emotional speeches and all. And then this motivational, motivational speech, motivational speech or whatever came up where I was talking about God is placing something in your life. You know, don't be in a rush to send them away. Like, my, my, our, our, our message was actually divided because they're like, you can't tell me anything else. So that word was like so straight to me, like don't turn this person away, um, out, you know, out, don't send this person out of your life and all. And I remember that was the night I changed his name from A to Akeloye I already. <laughs> so you know, we started talking that night and all. And that was the first night he told me that you know he loved our friendship and he wants this friendship to be forever and all, and that he wants us to be together and everything. And I told him give me some time to think about it even though i had known eight months ago that this man was going to come out i don't know why god had to do me the punishment of telling me first like we should have told him first i made him wait for eight months like why me am i the one that have the strength <laughs> so you know and that was how we got together and you know i i, I told him to give me give me two weeks um, some time to think about it as at that point let's write, write a cfe2 exam so i chilled for him and after i was done with the exam you know the first day i was waiting for him like i don't want to tell you say yes to this man like, i want to say yes to him like i want to start this journey as soon as possible and <laughs> but that night when he came he was just just me about the exam what happened on his way at the exam hall and this and that and that and this and everything so i could not and the next so the next day when i was to start this day i'm like please chill i want to say yes <laughs> so i said yes to him and all and you know it has been the best decision of my life really like i have never regretted you know saying yes to ayo and two years and three months down the you know everything we we're about to get married in three weeks and it's been so beautiful 
So I hope you've picked one thing or the other, you know, out of this my long story. If you're like me, that you're trying to ask God, I want to see how you're going to do this thing. God is definitely going to show you because it has the old word in its end. And, you know, um, I think I'm going to do a vlog because this is already long enough to tell you lessons of, you know, that I learned from our, how we met, you know, I, I believe in you not having high doors because when you have high doors, I feel like God does not want us to put anything apart from him. You know in our mind it wants to be um the only one that takes you know that power it's in our heart so whenever we have idol maybe our own idol is money your idol is a dark guy your idol is a fair guy i feel like god in the end will not you know give you that thing <laughs> i will give you something so it's very very good that you don't have an idol in your heart i'm going to do a vlog about you so let, don't let me um you know digress and i think this is where i'm going to stop this vlog so i want to hear you know what do you think about the story I hope you enjoyed it though. So what do you think about this story? And also guys, I want you to put I want you to put us in your prayers in three weeks. I'm going to be although we've done our civil wedding um last year, but we are going to be having, you know, the whole celebration and all in three weeks and um we are praying that be it will be a success. So we want you to include us in your prayers. So to meet next week guys, I love you so so much. Thank you so much for always supporting me. Take care, guys. Till we meet next week.